Hello, welcome back to Tarot, Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. So I want to find out how Brian Koberger is feeling about the samples collected. There were about four or five, um, four or five strands. One was a pet. There was some blood. Uh, there was a glove, a black latex glove. Uh, there was a little small, uh, some vacuum cleaner. So it looks like they got some, collected some evidence. And uh, so I would like to find out how he's feeling about all the collected evidence. How does he feel? And what's he thinking of? What's his energy? What's his energy about this? Some are saying he wanted to get caught because he left his sheath of his knife behind. That that could have been very intentional. But... I haven't read on that. I could pull. But anyways, how's he feeling? How's he feeling? I could I could do that and just pull just minimal amount here. How's he feeling? How's how's Brian feeling about all the samples collected, all the evidence collected? How does he feel about the collection of evidence? How does he feel? He feels here they got it with the Queen of Swords. Yep, because it was all about the women. It was about the women, the ice queens he was trying to communicate with. It, it is a female, a female, um, he did it because of them and he made the wrong move. He's drowning. And the fact that he took a risk, the fool in reverse. So he took a risk and it's not looking good. And we have here, he has a desire to change the situation. So he would like to probably manipulate and control it with lies. Uh, it's like the coffin card, the death card. He killed these women. Four of swords is coffin. He's probably regretting that he did it now, thinking maybe I shouldn't have done that because of where he's at right now. Uh, but he killed them because in another system called the Joseph Magi system, the four, four of swords is coffin is the coffin card. If you do the gypsy method with just a regular plain deck of cards, like for a casino deck, four of swords is your coffin card. So he did kill them. He killed them. He took them out because he thought they were cold. And it was really um, poor planning, really. He took a risk and it failed. It failed miserably. Um, I think I'm going to calculate that because I'm not using a lot of cards here and I'm not doing the, doing a major spread here. So I'm going to calculate because I do like to calculate. That's valued at, at uh, 12. That is valued at 0 and 4. That comes to 16. 16 comes to 4 of spades, coffin, death. So it comes to coffin. So basically, yes, it's looking like uh, it's a transformation. It's a transformational situation in the court system because coffin also represents um, not only did he kill him, but it's going to transform the the trial. It's going to aid the trial. I don't think it's going to end it. It's going to add to it. So I would say, yes, it's going to hurt him at the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is releasing it, not hanging on to it. It's been released with the four of pentacles in reverse. Here, it's stagnation and hanging on. Uh, here, it's acceptance, accepting it, and he's going to have to give up control. It, it, this, the, the samples have been released, and it's from the past, and now he has to give up total control over the situation. He has to accept it. So he knows this may be something he has to accept. They're collecting way too much stuff on him. And he was not able to hang on to it. He he brought he took it home with them. He took it home with them to hang on to it for like, you know, or they just collected it from whatever, but he had it there. It was in his possession. Four of Pentacles is about possession. It was in his possession of his apartment. So with the four four there, uh, four in Joseph Magi system, my calculation book, four comes to ace of spades, straight razor, cutting out, straight, straight razor. Ace of Swords represents death. He used a sword and he cut them. He killed them with his sword. He murdered them. He created a very unstable environment and he tried to lie about it, with um, about his behavior. So yeah, I would say it's not looking good for him. So if you're wondering where I'm getting my calculations, it is from this book here. That is where, if you want to do the gypsy method, it's called the Joseph Magi system. So there you go. So I would say it's not looking favorable and he knows it. Let's find out now, um, how does his lawyers feel about him? How does his lawyers feel about him? How does his representation feel about him right now? How does his rep representation feel? They feel here with the hermit in reverse that paranoid. He's getting, they're becoming more scared and paranoid. 
uh, restricted. They're restricted in their views. Um, feeling like, gosh, this may not go so well. Uh, rejection. And very damaging material. It's too damaging for them. And so, yeah, it's, it's a fear of what's there. They don't like what's there. Fear. Fear, fear, fear. And so they're hoping that it would not have been released. But here, this is distancing themselves. So they are distancing themselves from it. And they're going, trying to walk away from it for right now with the Eight of Cups. They're not going to walk away as lawyers, but they wish they could walk away, I would say. Uh, and so, basically, they, things can come to an end here. Uh, the situation's outgrown itself. And so, they're not happy about it. That is a card of depression. Uh, it's a card of, you know, do I walk away for empowerment because this isn't looking good? Um, you know, can I improve the situation? So they're wondering, can I improve the situation? So I, I think they're taking a break from it, taking a break from it, trying to improve the situation, uh, knowing it's, it's overwhelming. And this is a pretty overwhelming two cards here. So they're kind of overwhelmed by what's being presented to them because of the lovers. Yeah. He was interested in them. They're where, yeah. So it's like, that's testing relationship. And they're, they, they, they're making an income proposition. So they may make a proposition to him about what he, he needs to do next. So they may may ask him, hey, do you want to plead guilty? Do you want to do, a, you know, what do you want to do? What kind of proposition should we offer you? What are you willing to take? So maybe make some propositions. This flips, so I'm going to take it. Uh, we have the devil in reverse. So that is getting rid of the malignancy and kind of giving up. Uh, it's also the divorce. So giving up, giving up because they've got too much on you with the Ace of Pentacles. And we're just, you're sort of trying out this relationship. You know, what do you want to do here? So I think they're going to make some, uh, throw out some ideas to him. They're not going to tell him what he needs to do, but they're going to throw out some ideas with this proposition here. You know, maybe it's time to give up with the devil in reverse because here you can hang on to it and play the puppet master. They don't think they could play the courts that this is not looking good on their ends as lawyers. Let's get another card here. What else are the lawyers thinking? What else are the lawyers thinking? That popped in my hand. Think about your family. Think about the families that suffered. So it's looking like the lawyers, they're not gonna say it to, the, to everyone in public, but behind closed doors, maybe you should think about your family. Maybe you should think about the victims. <clears throat> you know, we won't paint you as the devil also. That we'll just say you have an illness here. You have an illness. You have a sickness. So we'll play the sick card. You, you've been sick a long time. That's coming out that he's been sick. He recognized that he was sick. He wrote all those letters. That's going to probably be entered. It would be entered into court that, you know, you're a, you have a sickness and maybe this will help help your situation. Um, get some more. Yep, very, very difficult decision here with the Two of Swords in reverse. So with the Two of Swords in reverse is you might have to make a compromise because of what they have on you. And we probably shouldn't lie. Uh, blind, the blindfold is trying to avoid it. So we need to take off the blindfold and decide what we're going to do here. I think they're going to talk to him, see what, he, what other options he wants to um, think about. And then we have here, yeah, because you can get the death penalty here with the King of Swords in reverse. Death penalty is it's judge, jury, executioner is the King of Swords. They could execute you. So I think they're going to want to put it, put it out there to him that we can avoid this execution because they could do that. This is the compromise here. You know, if we yeah, kind of give something up, we can keep you from being uh, put to death uh, in essence. He may not, he may want it. He may actually want it. So does he want the death penalty? Does he want the death penalty? Well, he's not happy with the teamwork. He doesn't think the teamwork is the dream work with the three of pentacles in reverse. It's going to cause arguments. Yep, he likes to be right. He thinks he's the most intelligent person in the room. And so there's arguments right there. Yep, and so everything's coming to light for the teamwork. They realize this isn't such a dream job. Uh, too much is coming to light with the moon card. Uh, it's no longer able to keep it in smoke and mirrors. Too much is out there uh, and is being revealed with the moon in reverse. What else? And it's just not such a dream job representing him. <laughs> they realize they're dealing with 
a very sick person, okay? A very sick individual. <clears throat> but they won't say it, right? They will keep their... And then this here, yeah, that is... They feel like they're going to do a crash and burn representing him. Yep, this is not a winning solution here. We are not going to likely win here. I think they're going to try and, and try and get him to do something else. He doesn't want to. He probably won't. But, you know, let's ask the pendulum. Will he, uh, will he take, take some kind of proposition? Will, will uh, the suspect take a proposition by his representation, by his lawyers? Will he accept a proposition? Will he accept some sort of proposition, come to some kind of compromise? Maybe, maybe. Is he going to wait for more evidence against him? Yes. So he's going to wait till they have way more and it leaks out. So... Yeah, is he going to get the death penalty? Will he go to court and get the death penalty? Will he? Yes, he will. He will. Is his lawyers telling him this? Is his lawyers telling him this? Is his lawyers telling him this? Yes. Does he believe it? Does he believe it? The suspect believe it? Yes. Does he care? Does he even care? No, he does not. Wow. Okay, does he kind of subconsciously want death? Does he actually want death? Wow. Yes, he does. Wow. So this is kind of like a suicide mission. Was this sort of a suicide mission? Was this somewhat of a suicide mission? Ruining his own life suicide mission? Was this somewhat of a suicide mission? Yes. Yes. So is this what he wants? Does he want the death penalty? Does Brian Koberger want the death penalty? Does Brian Koberger want the death penalty? Yes. All right, so he does he want to save his life? I'm going to just say it in another way. Does he want to save his life? No, no. All right, does he want to go to court for the infamy? Does he want to go to court for the infamy and the adulation and the attention? Yes. Is he enjoying the infamy? Is he enjoying the infamy? Is he enjoying the infamy? Yes. Yep. So is he going to turn it down then? Will he turn down any propositions? Yes. Yeah. They're not going to be able to. Yeah. They know he's going to lose. They know he's going to lose you guys. All right. I hope you have a great evening and until next time, like, and subscribe. Bye you guys.